Hey everyone, welcome to the webinar. Today we're going to go over a quick tutorial of how to install a security certificate on your website. And a couple of the prerequisites for this tutorial are that you already own your own domain name or the URL and that you have already subscribed to or have a hosting package with some company. For this tutorial, we're going to be using my Fast Comet account. So let's go ahead and log in. Now, once I come here, I'm going to want to hover over these two areas. Now, I already have the domain, and today we're going to install a certificate on the three pillar system.net. But I already own the name. Where the work happens is under products. So we're going to come over here to my products. I have a couple of different hosting accounts with this company. I'm going to choose the bottom one, and we are going to access the cPanel. It's just asking me to reaffirm or confirm my password. Now, once we get to this portion of the cPanel, we will have all of these options or topic headings, and then you will have either a plus or a minus side that allows you to expand or close those boxes. And the way that looks is just by going like that. So we come down here to security, pop that open. Now I'm going to look for the Let's Encrypt SSL feature. This is a free security feature that's available on most mid-level hosting packages. Once here, I'm going to want to go past my current certificates and I issue a new one. And here's the website that I want to issue it on. So I click issue, make sure these are all appropriate for what I need, and they are. Click issue. All right, now it's that easy. I like this because when I was with GoDaddy, they were charging me $179 a year for my certificate. And once I switched over to Fast Comment, that went away. Just come down here, double check it. It is good to go. Now I'm gonna come back to my website. We'll see that it's not secure. So if I click in here once, click that S, enter, there we go. This is what you want all of your website visitors to see. The security lock and the S in that URL location bar. Now, the way it's set up now is that I can get either secure or unsecure visitors. So I wanna change this in WordPress. So I'm gonna go over to my dashboard, scroll down to my settings. Under general, it has your WordPress address and your site address. I want to default these to secure, just like that. Hit save changes. Now we come over here. We're going to re-log in with the S for the security certificate and the site is good to go. If you have any questions on what I did or if you log into Fast Comment and the Let's Encrypt is no longer there, go ahead and shoot me a message. If you are one of my team members, remember, you can always go to the help desk, which was in your welcome email, submit a ticket, and I'll help you work with whatever challenge you're dealing with. Until next time, take care.